Hey guys, welcome back to the show. In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to do a very short summer cut. We're gonna be using a 5F blade, we're gonna fine tune it with a 7F blade, and we're gonna be using some snap-on combs or guards. Featured in this video is going to be the sweet little tiny sheet suit named Cinnamon. Okay guys, let's get Cinnamon on the table and we'll get to work. Okay, so before we even get started with the, the main haircut here, guys, we're gonna do our basics and we're just gonna do her pads and her butt area a little bit and uh, just to get her acclimated to the clippers. I like to do the small stuff first. So we're just gonna do a quick little pad trim right here. Good girly, cinnamon, good girly. You don't have to do a great job up front because we are going to go over this after her bath. But I do just like to get them done initially. This is going to be a great summer haircut. Uh, if you guys own a Shih Tzu or a Poodle or a Lhasa, um, any dog with a lot of hair, uh, you know, this, this haircut is just good because they're very easy to maintain. And uh, I, I believe that the dogs just do stay a little bit cooler in the summer months. I'm just going to switch to a 10 blade here. Just going to do her butt area real quick. See all this hair, just want to kind of get it out. Going side to side here. Don't ever come up on the butt. I always like to go side to side and down. Um, only because if they sit, you don't want to uh, catch them and cut their little butt there. Just clearing this out a little bit. Again, we're going to be going over this again. So it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just the prep. There we go. What a cute little butt. <laughs> That's, that's adorable. <laughs> so we're switching to our 5F blade now. And uh, the 5F blade, any, any blade you use, if you get a side view, I don't know if you could see that. If you get the widest part of the blade, that's pretty much the length that it's going to leave the coat. So, you know, you're looking at maybe a quarter inch, maybe a little bit less with using the 5 blade. And we're going to pattern this, guys. So we're going to do it in a way where we're getting practiced at it. Uh, so we're gonna start from behind the, the shoulder here and we're just gonna come down, but I'm kinda of, gonna be blending off of the sides, okay? And on a coat like this, they might change a little bit of color. It's a very unnatural thing to do to a dog. So part of being a dog groomer is to try to make it look as natural as we possibly can. Uh, but again, they do need haircuts because this stuff will just get overgrown and uh, we'll start to mat up. Okay, so just kind of coming down her back straight out. And, you know, I'm supporting her skin here with my hand. And you can see right there. Then I'm just going to take it from there and make a little line going sideways. You want to try, you don't want to try to do this. You don't want to come down on a right angle like that because it's going to look very, very choppy. So I'm blending slowly, okay? Cinnamon's a tiny little dog, so you know, you want to be extra careful. Little dogs are just as challenging to work on as bigger dogs, if not sometimes more. Because they are so little. I'm just kind of blending off of the tail. And then right back here, coming down her little butt area. She's a female, so you want to be very, very careful because her vulva is right here. So what I like to do is I like to put my finger right here and just protect it with my index finger. This way, you know, you're not catching it with this 5F blade. Okay, so from this point, guys, I'm just going to come down the front leg a little bit. 
So we're just prepping here, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let me down here. Just gonna go over the back leg. And we're doing a lot of contouring once we get to the legs, guys. So feel, you know, you gotta feel the anatomy of every dog that you're working on. We're lifting, going down the foot. And you can already see this side view here of what she looks like. Okay, so we're just doing the same thing on the other side. I'm using my left hand now, guys. It really does help if you can use your left hand. If not, you would be in a different position. You'd be doing this, and that's fine too. But you at-home groomers, you, know, you can just get practiced at this. All you have to do is try and get your clippers out and work slowly. I'm working, I'm working rather quickly here only because we're in the midst of a busy day here, but we really wanted to put out a video for you guys. Um, but we do have to get cinnamon done because you know she's getting picked up in a couple hours. So we're just really doing the same thing on this side. And then I'm gonna switch my hands also because I'm definitely more confident. And what I'm doing here is I'm not pulling skin really, even though it might look like that. I'm really just kind of guiding the, the clipper onto the hair. I'm not really pulling, don't, don't pull and cut because you can pull skin and you can cut them, uh, nick them very easily that way. Same thing down this back leg that we did on that right side. We're just contouring here. You're really letting the clipper do all the work. Um, and you don't want to force. Again, back here, we're being really careful with that vulva. So again, I'm just gonna feel where it is. So, you know, her little vulva's right here. So again, I'm just gonna protect it, move it over, and just really target my hair, the hairs that I want. And even this here, I'm not going to do much with that because that's where her vulva is. We're gonna go over that with a 10 blade. You don't wanna use a 5F in this area. Okay guys, so we moved over to uh, Cinnamon's front area here. Uh, we did her body. We're gonna work on her face last. Uh, a lot of times dogs don't like their faces done, so we kind of just save it for uh, the end. Um, but we're going to continue by removing the noose here. Just gonna get behind her ear area here. We're gonna get the neck and go down the front legs. And her chest. Coming behind the neck, we're doing both sides like this. It's okay, Senna. Good girl. Good girly. It's just a short, low maintenance cut. You won't have to worry about them for, you know, a good six weeks. That's why this, this haircut works out great especially if you have multiple dogs where you, know, you can't keep up with them by doing a short haircut like this you won't have to worry about brushing as often and uh, the dogs tend to really like it as well it's okay cinnamon it's okay baby go that way good girly good girly it's okay that's it you're so pretty you're so pretty Okay, now that I did the neck area, just gonna put the noose back on her, and now we can work her chest and her front legs. Coming up and under, lifting her leg a little bit here. And right here, you wanna be very, very careful. Don't dig into the armpit area with the 5F blade. Good girl, Cinnamon. 
if the dogs pull away, you see how she's pulling away? Give her that. Don't yank the leg forward. Don't ever do that. You can rare, you can hurt them. You can, uh, you know, you can pull on their shoulder. You could hurt their wrists, especially on a tiny dog. So I let her put her leg down, and then if I need it up again, I'll pull it back up briefly. But don't ever yank on the leg, guys. You can see this whole shoulder. See this? You don't want to hurt this, okay? Good girly, Cinnamon. And we're just going to do her left front leg now. Here we go. Good girl, baby. I love you. You're pretty. You're so pretty. As we always mention too, a lot of the work is all in the left hand. It's not so much the clippers. And I'm just gonna switch hands real quick and get a little bit of this inside here. Good girl, Cinnamon. There you go. Good girl, it's okay. Good girlie. Come here, mama. Good girl, sweetie. Okay, so now we've worked our way to her head and her face. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just put a 10 blade on. We're switching to a 10 blade and we're gonna try to work out a little bit under her eyes real quick. It's okay, mama, good girl. Real quick, we're just doing little, little short strokes. And that's it. I'm gonna take the 10 blade and also do a little bit of this inside of the ear. If you feel comfortable doing this, you can. If you don't, just um, you, you know, just keep practicing. Don't do it as, I guess, intensely as I'm doing it, but you can just kind of practice it until you feel comfortable enough. And we're going to put a number two uh, guard snap-on comb. These are wall, made from wall, and just going to come right from the back of the head and move forward. This is a short cut, guys, just a, a maintenance cut. We're gonna blend down the sides of her face a little bit, grab the face area. And the inside of the ear here. It's okay, sweetheart. Good girl. Good girl. And I'm up and under her neck. So you can see what that snap-on comb is doing. See the difference in her face. <laughs> you good girl, Sentman. You are so cute. Okay, <laughs> we're just going to do the same thing on this side real quick. Come behind her ear a little bit. And the same thing. We're gonna scissor this up later too, make it look cute. Come here, baby girl. Good girl. And a lot of dogs are not gonna let you do this. Cinnamon is very used to the process. She comes to see us all the time. But the key to this is to just get them used to it, start them young, and keep trying. Do little bits at a time. I'm going to switch over to a number four snap-on comb again. It's a number four right there. They're all color-coded too. And I'm just going to grab a little bit out of her eyes here with this, like this. And you can see how it's just already coming together. We haven't even given her a bath yet. She's already looking really, really cute. Okay, so... That's gonna do it for the prep. Guys, we're going to just um, brush out the rest real quick. Come here, baby girl. Here we go, mama. We're just gonna brush out her tail because her tail and her face and ears are gonna be a little bit longer than the body. And uh, we're just gonna give her a quick brush out all over, loosen up any of that debris that may be sitting on her skin, any dander that might be sitting on her skin, just loosen it up with your slicker brush and it's going to make for a better bath. It's okay, baby girl. Come here. And real quick on your face right here, mama. That's all. Here, 
Real quick, real quick. Go, go, go. That's all, that's all, that's all. Okay. All right, that is it. Cinnamon is ready for the bath. We're gonna give her a bath, and we're just gonna basically go over her again and finish her up, and you'll see how cute she comes out. Right, Cinnamon? You're such a, you're such a good dog. <laughs> Okay guys, so Cinnamon's back on the table after her bath and blow dry, and we're just basically gonna do the same thing we did before. Slight variations, we're gonna add a 7F blade, and we're gonna fine tune it like we talked about. So let's finish Cinnamon up. Okay guys, so we're back with the 5F blade, and we're just going to just do the same thing that we did before. But now that the coat is clean, the blade is just gonna go through the coat a lot better. And like we talked about, we're gonna use that 7F blade because we wanna take this a little shorter. And the reason why I started off with the 5F blade is because I don't like to go real short right off the bat. I like to see what I'm working with. By using the 5F blade, it's a little bit safer than going straight at it with a 7F blade. A 7F blade can, you know, nick or cut a little easier than a 5F blade. So I like to just start off with a 5F blade and then work my way to the 7F blade. Now that, um, you know, in case there's any growths or anything, the 5F blade isn't gonna nick it as quickly as a 7F blade would. So we're switching over to a 7F blade. And again, like I showed you before, just that width of the blade. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but you can see the difference. You see how much wider this 5F blade is? So that 7F blade is going to cut that that much shorter. Okay, let's pop that on and we'll get this a little shorter. It's just my process, guys. Um, some, some groomers will just go right at it with the 7F blade. Uh, the only reason why I would do that is if the dog's really, really matted, but this dog wasn't matted at all. By using the 7F blade also, we can get these legs a little shorter. See all that hair? growing there, we can get that a little better. Just gonna lift her here, get this inside here. Good girl, mama. Whenever you're doing this, Guys, you always want to try your best to make sure that the blade is very flush to the skin, okay? You don't want it coming in like that. You want nice, flush, even strokes. Okay? And even on the inside, even up here, you want that blade as flush to the skin as you can get it, okay? You don't want it angled like this. You want it nice and flat like this. Okay guys, so we're just doing the same thing on the left side. Just like before. We're just fine tuning now. Just going over our work. Okay, so we're going to show you something that we didn't do before. The only thing that we didn't do before was I didn't really show you how we get the underbelly here. And I like to work very, very safely with that. I'm not even, I did her, uh, her sanitary clip with a 10 blade, but with her underbelly here, we're going to be using a 30 blade with a uh, number five snap-on guard, okay? And we didn't show you this in the prep, but we're gonna show you now. We're just gonna lift her, and we're gonna get this right here. All this here. We're just doing it with the snap-on comb because again, guys, it's just much safer. Good girl, mama. Good girl. It's just a way to get it shorter, and again, that, that guard comb just creates that little bit of a barrier between the skin and the blade so that you have a less likelihood that you're going to nick the dog. So it's the only thing we didn't show you in the prep. 
And even though you're doing this, you still want to be very, very careful with it. Don't let this skin get in between the teeth here. So that's just another way of getting the underbelly. Good girl, mama. And you can even go over it like this too. And get that armpit area. But again, just a safer way to get the underside by using the uh, number five uh, snap-on guard. Okay guys, so we're just working on our front legs again. I'm gonna do that real quick. We're gonna get her neck and head, and then we're just gonna do some scissoring, and she's gonna be all done. You good girl, mama. So with any haircut, guys, you really need the dog's cooperation. Um, you know, again, Cinnamon is great. She comes to us all the time. But by doing this and practicing, you're definitely going to get the dog used to it, get yourself used to it. And uh, in most cases, dogs are just going to be accepting of it. Coming behind the neck again. We're still using the 7F blade, so we're being extra cautious. If you don't want to switch over to the 7F blade, you could just stick with the 5F and uh, you, know, you don't have to worry about as much. Good girl, baby. Good girl, mom. It's okay, Cinnamon. The other part of this, too, guys, is that the dogs start to get tired also, so you really do have to get the job done. Okay, good girl, Cinnamon. Alrighty. So now we're just going to work on the head. I'm going back to my, my 30 blade. And I'm going straight to the four snap on guard again. And we're just going to blend some of this hair. And just so you know, guys, this is at owner's request. They like her short. Um, you know, you can, you can, you know, leave your dog a little longer if you'd like, if you like more on the head. We're just taking her really, really short, uh, but you can leave the head a little fuller, and we'll do other videos on that too, where we're leaving some bangs. Um, but this is a uh, multi-dog household, so they really do like l low maintenance haircuts and that's why we're taking her so short it's okay mama good girl good girl sweetie come here baby girl so pretty you're pretty you're pretty cinnamon you're such a pretty dog good girl mama what a good girl Okay guys, so now we're just gonna scissor her up a little bit. There's very little scissoring required in this because most of it was already done with, with, the, with the blades. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and scissor up her feet and her tail and her face a little bit and then she'll be done.
Okay guys, so give it up for Cinnamon being such a sweet little puppy throughout that whole thing. In this video, we just demonstrated how to do a really short summer cut using a 5F blade, a 7F blade, a 10, and a couple of uh, snap-on comb guards. So guys, if you do this and you practice this, it's something you could do at home, you'll get better at it as time goes on, and your dog will be uh, actually uh, get practiced at it as well, and will be more likely to let you do it. So guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one.